Alright, hey everyone, this is the uh, Gore's DVD Update Episode 1. Now, of course, I did updates before, but this is the first one with the new title, so this one is the one that counts. Okay? So, I'm gonna go on, because I have a lot of DVDs. I haven't did one since, I think, December 20th. That's the last time I did, so... Let me go on with the first movie I got. Con well, not really, but the first movie I just grabbed, The Contract with John Cusack and Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman plays the assassin, John Cusack, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. The fuck is this? White Olander. I don't know. My fr my mom got this. White Oland Olander? O-L-E-A-N-D-E-R. Oleander. Okay. White Oleander. That's Scarlett Johansson. A uh, bunch of other people I don't know, so that means, guess what? Oh, that was, <laughs> oops, that wasn't Scarlett Johansson, that was uh, Robin Wright Penn. Uh, I guess that says good things about her, I guess. Uh, Casino Royale, two disc, special, well, not one disc. Uh, hey, I didn't, I didn't lose the feature film, that's a good part. Uh, yeah, it keeps falling out for some reason. I got this at 7-Eleven for six bucks. So, 7-Eleven. I got this. That's it. That's downright despicable. <laughs> anyway, but it was cheap. Next, I got a three DVD thing. I don't, I didn't actually buy it. I also bought this set of yard sale. So, it came with Dying Young, uh, some Julia Roberts movie, Hope Float, some Sandra Bullock, Bullock movie, and Here on Earth with... Chris Klein. Uh, but it didn't come with the Chris Klein movie. It came with instead the wedding date. So my mom got this for two fifty. So at least wedding date. I'm pretty sure it would be better anyway. Here's a good. Here's a good find. I found it there. I found this. This is the one I bought, and it's one of my favorite Nicolas Cage movies, Con Air. Yes, and it also has that weird little DVD thing, like, doesn't, eh, whatever. I have to get this over with. It might be a two-parter also. So, yeah. The Eye. <sighs> Just a gal. Alright. Because I said so. This movie sucks because I said so. Trust a man. Don't trust this movie. I don't know. I don't know. In Bruges. I don't have anything witty to say, but I heard it was really good, so I checked it out. The Grid. Now, I have no idea what the hell this movie is, uh, but I heard it was a... It's something you watch. Here's one of my favorite 2003 movies. Sea Biscuit. Sea Biscuit. All right. Sea Biscuit. Come here, Sea Biscuit. I'm going to shoot you. I mean, I'm going to pet you. No reservations. That's that... Uh, those two people, Aaron Eckhart and that girl, Renee Zellweger, I think. Is that her? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. I don't care. But but I like this movie a lot. Aaron Eckhart's funny as hell. He's also cool. He's the guy that you want to meet. Blah blah blah. Whatever. I thought he was like an asshole in the movie in the beginning. But Final Payback, a uh, a movie with who's in it again? Oh. Who cares? Uh, Final Payback, blah, blah, blah. I don't know who's in it, actually. I can't tell from the freaking... Look at look at this, how smudgy that looks. I can't tell who that is. Is that Mel Gibson? If it is, that's cool. No, he was in Payback. That's Final Payback. Alright, next movie is one of my favorite Charlie Sheen movies, and Michael Biehn, I don't know him. But it's my favorite Michael Sheen movie. Navy Seals. Navy Seals, Navy Seals. Okay, is this? Yes, it is. Glimmer Man, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Don't ever be in an R. Steven Seagal movie ever again. I never saw it, but come on, Keenan Ivory Wayans. The Sentinel, not the horror movie. So uh, whatever. Yeah, it's Michael Douglas. Jungle. It's kind of like Cloverfield mixed with Cannibal Holocaust. It's pretty bloody. It's uh, obviously shot on a camera, but it's actually very good. It's not shaky at all, really. 
So it's actually a very good movie. Elizabeth Town. I hate you. My mom really likes it. Freaking romantic movies. Here's one I really wanted to see for a long time. I still didn't see it. I got this all the way back January. Titan IE. Let me check the time real quick. It's not going to be a two-parter. By the way, I'm getting through this real fast. Titan IE. It stars, mm, I think, Bill, oh, Matt Damon, Bill Pullman, John Leguizamo, Nathan Lane, Janine Garofalo, and Drew Barrymore. I didn't know John Leguizamo was in this, actually. This is a fabulous film. Roger Ebert. What the hell? Roger Ebert. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. The Last Castle. It's a... What's his name? Robert Redford. James Gandolfini. Uh, hey, oh. I'm Tony Soprano. I don't know... Mark Ruffalo, Clifton Collins Jr., and Delroy Lindo. I don't know any of those except Red Referred, James Gandolfini, and Ruffalo. So I know three out of the five. I kind I heard of Clifton Jr. or whatever his name is before, but whatever. Here's one that I I don't know why people love this fucking series. I kind of know why because it has nice cars, but I don't know why. The new movie's about to come out. Obviously, it's the Fast and the Furious series. I don't, I don't get it. Obviously, this one's called The Fast and the Furious. And this the new one's called Fast and Furious, so... Fucking stupid. Uh, next is one of my favorite, favorite comic book movies. I don't know why people don't like it. It is a fucking... It is Constantine. Now, th obviously, this looks the bootleg. Why? Because it is bootlegged. I'm a little pissed about that. But he said every spe uh, feature that's on disc one in this, because this was a two disc one, everything that was on disc one is in this. And also, uh, it also looks perfect. So I was like, okay. Here's another one he said was perfect, but it doesn't have any DVD me menus or anything. The Transporter. I have Transporter 3. I didn't actually. He no good. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Want to see it again. I only saw it once in the theaters back in 2003. Remember, I didn't really like it that much, but new one's coming out, so. And here's the big one. Total Recall. I never seen Total Recall. That's fucking stupid. That's why I got this. And also, let me check the time real quick. I'll show you my new bootleg movies I got a little while ago. Yes, I know, bootleg, right? Hey. Or why do you have... Actually, you know what? I got an idea. I'll probably do a bootleg DVD uh, collection. Because I can't find my bootlegs right now. So I will next time. But right now, all I got to say is... Peace out.